Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, let's learn about the sum of two cubes proof. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. If you were like me, when you saw this, a cubed plus b cubed equal to ab plus a squared minus ab plus b squared, for the first time, you were kind of confused. How does that happen? And well, I'm here to show you that it does happen and how I learned how to do it. So I have a cubed plus b cubed. Let's use some algebra here. I'm gonna rewrite that, a cubed, and I'll put a b cubed over here. Now, what we know about any expression, we can add zero to it, it doesn't change, right? So if I add a zero right here, and plus sign in the middle, and I put a zero here, plus sign right there, my, well, I don't need that plus sign, or I got a plus sign in the middle. All right. Too many pluses. Well, from there, I don't change the problem. I'm adding a zero, zero, and it's the same. But we know that a number minus itself is also zero. So if I rewrite this, I have a cubed plus a a squared b minus an a squared b, that's still a zero, right? a squared b minus an a squared b. Plus here, same thing here, instead of zero, I'm gonna have a a b squared minus a, uh, a <laughs> minus an a b squared. Got ahead of myself there. Plus, don't forget that b squared that comes down. Again, here's our zero, right? That's the zero right here, and that's the zero right there. Now from here, I'm gonna reorder what I've written. I'm gonna keep my a cubed right here. Then I'm going to bring down this minus a squared b. And let's go cross it off so we know we've used it. From there, I'm going to bring over this plus a b squared. Cross that off. Now I'm going to bring over this a squared b. Right there. Cross that off. Minus a b squared. Got that here plus a b cubed right there brought that one down all right now we kind of have two sections here with the left and right and we've always had that and let's kind of separate that within this section that plus sign here i'm going to pull out an a i see a common a right here i pull out an a and i'm left with an a squared minus a b plus a b squared right there now the second section here I say the same thing. I see a b that I can pull out from each part. Pull out a b here, and then I'm left with an a squared uh, minus an a b plus a b squared. Right? I pull out a b from there. So now I have an a times an a squared minus a b plus b squared, and a b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. One thing we notice is what's in the parentheses is exactly the same here on both sides. So if we pull that out, pull that out from both sides of the equation, I'm left with an a squared minus a b plus a b squared. So I'm pulling that out times plus sign what's left over here. And that is an a plus a b. So we have a squared minus a b plus b squared times an a plus a b. And we can flip that around. Put a plus b first, and we have a squared minus a b plus b squared, and there we have it. We have what we were looking for in the beginning, that a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus a b squared. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to find the proof for the sum of two cubes, and if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.